The Crimean Bridge needs urgent repairs. The structures are degrading after the strikes by the Ukrainian armed forces, state the partisans from the Atesh movement. According to the partisans, the bridge's structural elements are degrading, leading to the crumbling of its individual parts. The attitude to its condition is becoming more and more neglectful. No one pays proper attention to it anymore. It is also worth noting that the number of air defense systems in Crimea continues to decrease, which makes the bridge even more vulnerable, the partisans write. The Ukrainian armed forces have repeatedly struck the bridge, causing serious damage and temporarily impeding its use. The strikes were aimed not only at damaging the bridge, but also at undermining confidence in Russia's ability to protect its infrastructure. According to the Institute for the Study of War, if the Ukrainian armed forces destroy the Crimean bridge, Russia's ability to maintain its occupation of the peninsula will be reduced. Russian troops are trying to protect the Crimean bridge and have pulled eight barges to it, as satellite images show, reports the British Ministry of Defence. According to British intelligence, an analysis of satellite images revealed eight barges on the south side of the Crimean bridge. These barges were placed by Russian forces in an attempt to defend the bridge and shipping channel, reducing the angles of approach for Ukrainian unmanned surface vehicles, the report says. The previously installed structures were damaged by storms, which reduced their effectiveness. The Crimean Bridge, also known as the Kirsch Bridge, has strategic value as a symbol of Russia's possession of occupied Crimea and tactical value as a logistical link from the mainland. The bridge has already been struck by Ukraine twice and partially repaired. There is some doubt as to its continued structural integrity to move tanks and supplies. In October 2022, a bomb carried in a truck damaged several spans of roadway and the adjacent rail line. In July last year, an early morning unmanned surface vehicles strike caused further damage to the road section. Russia's Soyuz MS-26 has been placed on the launch pad in the Baikonur Cosmodrome ahead of next week's launch of a crew to the International Space Station. Blast-off is scheduled for September 11 and is set to deliver Roscosmos cosmonauts Alexei Ovchinin and Ivan Vanner and NASA astronaut Donald Pettit to the ISS as the first crew of Expedition 72. We have been partners for many decades and I think this beautiful rocket, this beautiful team, the crew, is just a strong testament to how important that continued collaboration is," said U.S. astronaut Johnny Kim, who is set to launch to the ISS in early 2025. The launch pad also served as a backdrop for a unique destination wedding that saw Roscosmos engineer Alexander tie the knot with his beloved under the towering rocket. Baikonur is located in a remote part of Kazakhstan but is leased by Russia until the middle of the century. Конечно, мы переживаем за экипаж основной, за вообще всю нашу программу. Экипажу, конечно, чтобы старт состоялся с точностью до десятой доли секунды.